I just want to start off by saying that I am not a makeup guru and this is not a makeup tutorial this is a learning experience I just want to turn from this to this sometime so I started off by washing my face with clean and clear morning burst Next, I add a vitamin C serum to help get rid of my dark spots. Now I'm going to use a vitamin C infused toner to also help with my dark spots. And I know you're supposed to pat, not rub, but I do what I want. Now I'm just going to put some face cream I mean the rest on my hands since I took too much. Because my lips are so dry. And of course I add some also to my nose and my eyelids. going to use a hydrating primer and because my pores are so big I'm going to use the baby skin instant pore eraser These are the contacts I'll be using, and I never saw, tried a contacts before, so I was quickly excited. switched my hair. As you can see, it's not fresh out the bag, but I did take it out days before, but the bottoms are still stringy, so I'm just going to use some dry shampoo. Though that dry shampoo just started leaving black marks inside of the hair even though it said it was for blonde hair and light tones i was very confused
So my mom told me I should probably try it and maybe it'll turn back blonde. But as you can see, it's not really working. <laughs> Only frustrating me more. So I put my hair up to go try to put in the contacts and it took hours and I broke one but I finally got one in. <laughs> Now I'm attempting to cut the lace on camera, but that, yeah, that was just not going to happen, so I want to go cut it off camera. <laughs> okay, so I tend to the lace, and as you can see, I didn't like that it left so much brown on top of the hair, so I was trying to wipe it off, and I failed. But now I'm just trying to glue the uh, lace down. And it's been a while since I did it, so uh, I couldn't remember exactly what I was supposed to do. And this process took a long time, so enjoy me struggling to try <laughs> and stick this glue onto my head. So after a while, I kind of just gave up and 
do a headband because I couldn't find my wig grip and tried to glue it off camera. So I glued it down just a bit, but it really doesn't matter because I'm not going outside anyways. And now I'm going to add foundation with a brush, which is something I never do, but actually it came out really good using the brush. And of course, I poured too much on my forehead. <laughs> and now I have to spread it before it dries. I went in with a second layer of foundation because I wanted to get rid of some more of my dark spots. I didn't add a lot because I didn't want to look cakey and I'm not going anywhere. So now I use the concealer. That probably was a little bit too light, but it is what it is. On under my eye and next to my lash lines. And I had the brilliant idea just then to put some on top of the sides of my face, which as you can see, it's too light, way too light. I tried to blend it out and it just, it wasn't happening. It made it look worse. So I added some more foundation on top and I still didn't like it. So I took the darkest shade I had, which was the contour stick, and run that all down my face just so I can get rid of the dark spot. I mean, it worked, but did it work? Now I'm attempting to contour my nose, which uh, I still haven't grasped the concept of that altogether, so uh, it doesn't really look like I did anything, but at least I didn't mess up anything. Now I'm using a really light concealer on top of my eyes to brighten them up. Now you'll see me incorrectly, well, properly incorrectly, I wouldn't know, apply eyeshadow to my eyes.
and I was attempting to add a darker shade to blend it, but since the shades were so similar, it really didn't make any sense. Or did it work out? Now I'm going to just apply some highlighter in the corners of my eyes. On top of my brows, on my nose, on my chin, and on my cheeks. So I am aware, well, I think I'm aware <laughs> that I put the highlighter in the wrong spot, but that's okay because I'm just going to cover it up with some bronzer. Now I'm applying blush. And putting bronzer underneath my eyes to lighten them up just a bit. Vaseline because my lips were dry again and I tried to apply the Superstay lipstick and it just did not work because my lips were way too wet. So instead, I just applied some lip balm and added a darker shade of lipstick on top. So now I was going to apply magnetic eyelashes, so I needed to do my eyeliner. And to be honest, this is the best I've ever done. Usually I have smudged it all over my face. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself. And the eyelash on this eye just went on so well. It was just so good. I can't say the same for the other eye, but this eye was so good. Yeah, for some reason, this eye was a struggle. The eyelashes did not want to stay on, and they kept on going crooked, and I tried to fix it, and it just wasn't happening.
after I decided to accept my fate, uh, I tried to do my eyebrows. And uh, as you can see, I barely have enough to work with, so yeah, this wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. <laughs> Because I kind of forgot and kind of remembered, I decided to use some clear mascara on my eyes to bond them with the lashes. I put down the hair and I thought that I can do some bangs since the baby hairs are so long and I'm not a baby hair connoisseur so for some reason I'm combing them out because I can't find my baby hair brush and yeah the bangs idea was not gonna work so I just took some edge control and I just uh did the best I could to wipe them to the side And with that, I was basically done. And that's how I looked in the end. And I took a picture right after, but it was giving off too much white chicks movie vibes. So this is the picture of me after I went outside. I look so much better now. <laughs> 